Hey guys, Trevor here. And in this video, I'm gonna show you how to check your router for malware or viruses. It's pretty quick and easy, so let's jump right in. Now, if you suspect that your router at your home or business or office, whatever it may be, might have a virus or malware on it, let's hop into it to just diagnose and test it, and make sure there aren't any issues. So head into settings and then Wi-Fi here. And what we're gonna look for is your internet connection. You can see mine right here. I'm gonna tap the little I right next to it. I'm gonna scroll down and you're gonna look for the router IP address. 192.168 is usually what it starts in. So I'm gonna tap and hold and hit copy. After I've done that, I'm gonna open up a web browser and paste this in here. This will allow me access to my router and run full diagnostics, check the logs, all of that. Now the first thing to check is the network name and the password. Make sure something like that hasn't been changed without your permission. After you've done that, let's go over and tap on diagnostics here. And you can hit run full diagnostics to be able to test everything on your router. You can see authentication pass, IP pass, DNS pass, ethernet failed because I don't have ethernet plugged into it right now. But you can see everything looks good. I can always hit the details to get more information about those diagnostics or even hit send diagnostics if you wanted to send those to your internet service provider. Now, another thing I recommend is tapping on logs here and just checking through this to make sure it doesn't look fishy. There's nothing that kind of stands out that you don't recognize or that just looks weird and unusual like a bot or something like that has done. And then the last thing that you can do is on here for any of these, you could either update or tap on reset here. And then you could reset everything, including your password, everything, so that you can ensure that no one else will be able to have access to it. Just basically bring it back to factory default and then configure it back again after that. I hope this helps. If it did, hit the subscribe button down below. It really helps me out. And I'll catch you on the next one.